Ladies and gents, welcome back to this episode with me, your host, Dallin Hawes. It is great to spend some time with you today. And today we're talking about some mistakes that retirees make all the time that literally kill. That if they make these mistakes too much or don't correct them early enough, literally can lead to death, right? Um, and um, many of you might think, hey, you know, that's a that's probably an exaggeration, right? Maybe that title isn't um, as as um, hundred percent true as as you might uh, want it to be. Well, actually, this one's pretty accurate. Okay, so there is a 2019 Wall Street Journal article, and basically the consensus, the thesis of this article is: Hey, um, many people dream about retiring or even retiring early, but you want to make sure that uh, maybe think twice about your dreams because retirement is actually detrimental to people's health. That often people literally die at different points in retirement because they, they stop working, right? Now, when I first read about this, I'm like, okay, is there something inherently unhealthy <laughs> about retirement? Or are people making mistakes? Are people doing retirement wrong and is there a way to do it right so that we have an incredible retirement because we work so hard we work our entire lives 30 40 even 50 years sometimes to be financially independent to retire and we want that to be a great retirement that we can enjoy right and i know normally i talk about the money side of retirement the finances where you've got to get your finances right so that you can enjoy the other parts, right? But today I, is honestly going to be less about the finances and more, hey, even if you nail your finances, even if you do it perfectly and you make some of these three mistakes, then you're not going to enjoy retirement. You may still be unhappy, right? You may still just not enjoy it as you thought you might have, okay? So I'm going to talk about three mistakes that if you can avoid these, then retirement can be incredible. Okay, so mistake number one. And that is bad habits. Okay, so when, when someone retires, it is so much easier to get a little lazy and to maybe watch a little too much TV or to maybe smoke too much or drink too much to, to pick up some bad habits that while they're working, they really didn't have enough time to really get into it, right? But now they've got a little more time. Every day is a Saturday and it's a little harder to stay do, you know, busy doing good things, right? And so bad habits creep in and often, you know, many retirees are more sedentary than they were before. Maybe their job is a little more active or maybe they just don't get up and move a ton in retirement. And, and these things are bad for people's health. So that's number one, bad habits. And I know you may say, hey, wow, you're a young guy preaching about, um, you know, things and health and retirement. That's not your lane. And, and maybe it's not. I know I'm kind <clears> of, <throat> I'm the finance guy right? I talk about money. But honestly, I talk about retirement success. And this is key to retirement success, okay? Keeping good habits and a good routine in retirement is so, so crucial. Now, the, the second mistake that people make all the time in retirement is they lose purpose. They lose their mission, okay? Often when we're working, our mission, our fulfillment, our accomplishments often tie around what we do eight hours a day, five days a week, right? And obviously your schedule may not be exactly that, but often our accomplishments just really wrap in because that's where we spend a lot of our time, right? Our concentrated effort is in our work. So when that's gone, when our mission is gone, then often there's a big void, a void of fulfillment, of pushing yourself, of developing, of learning, of growing, often people stop because there's nothing forcing them to get better, to learn new skills, to do things and learn things in a way they never have before. While you're working, that is part of the job. It comes with the territory. But when you're not working, that's gone. And so as a result, people lose drive. They lose the lust for life because they're not as pushed, okay? Now, before, before I go any farther, um, I, I want to say, hey, the good news is 
all these things are controllable, right? These are challenges that retirees have, but they're controllable challenges. We can do things about it, right? We can control them by making a plan. Now, even before you retire, and especially once you retire, how to fill these voids and these challenges in retirement. Now, the last mistake that I see all the time and that many research has shown is just detrimental to your health and your happiness in retirement is you lose your social life. When you retire, th this is kind of how it works most often. As people graduate college, as people enter the workforce, social circles, friendships often get ever more entangled with the workplace, right? I mean, when you think about it, eight hours a day, you spend time with a team, you spend time with other people. And often, you don't spend eight hours a day with anyone during the week, right? Even family, right? That's a lot of time. And so friendships and social life really are entangled with the workplace, with the things that we do. And in an instant, as you retire, that's gone. So much of your social life, your friendships, um, they may not be there. So many of you might maintain those relationships and that would be great, but a lot of the built-in time with other people goes away. And so the only thing that remains is what you make of it, of what you proactively create, what relationships you proactively work on building and strengthening, right? And so it's not uncommon for people to feel isolated in retirement because they lose that built-in infrastructure of social socialization and they don't know where to start, right? Now, those are the three mistakes, okay, that retirees make all the time that really, honestly, they affect your emotional health, your physical health, and your happiness and success in retirement. Because honestly, even if you have so much money, you don't know what to do with it. If you don't, if you get any of these three mistakes wrong, if you make these mistakes in retirement, it doesn't matter how much money you have, right? It doesn't matter. You want to make sure you bring your planning, the work that you're doing full circle to have a great retirement. Now, retirement is a great time and an incredible time, but a great retirement is not an accident. It takes actually a little work, even in retirement, to stay motivated, to, to have a structure for yourself, to volunteer, to work part-time, to spend time with your kids. Have something in your life to give you that lust, that energy, that, that um, light in your eyes of you're doing something, you're fulfilling something, right? That is what gives people in retirement energy, life, happiness, right? So I hope that was helpful. Okay, I'm going to, you know, hopefully this won't be the last of this type of episode where I talk about less about money and more about life. Because I think that is my goal here to help you as a, a federal employee to retire, not just financially free, but happy and successful in every area of life. So start thinking about it. Start thinking how you're going to overcome these challenges. And maybe your personality is different. Maybe you don't need the social life as much. Maybe you don't need some other aspect. But what do you need and how are you going to enable yourself to have the incredible retirement that you want? I'm going to see you next time.